All right, folks, just a quick tidbit on taking care of your gear. Right now what we did was take a bottle, a cap, cap full of this stuff, which is uh, antibacterial. We've got our wash bin. Nick is gonna show, he's gonna rinse out his booty. Essentially what you wanna do is rinse your gear. When you rinse your gear with uh, water and some sort of soap, it's gonna, go ahead and rinse it, Nico. What you're gonna do is get the salt water out. And as we all know, salt water is corrosive. And uh, you wanna get that salt water out of your gear so that your gear lasts longer. Gear is safety, folks. I think it's something that maybe I'll see the later video on, but your gear is what keeps you safe. So you want your gear to be in good working order. <clears throat> I think another thing that I do personally that I don't know how many people do is I actually rinse my leash. So your leash has metal in it, has the attachment points, and again, that salt water getting there and sitting there is gonna eventually break that down. Your leash obviously is safety gear. So I've had leashes snap. What I, my leashes usually snap is either at this connection point or sometimes here. And uh, you obviously want that leash to last as long as possible. And then when you're done washing your gear, you want to hang it up. <clears throat> and what you don't want to do is some people I see them just hanging it up um, like on a hook, like my gear is over there. And what it does is it's going to miss or malform your, your gear. So if you hang it up like that, kind of resting over something, it won't alter the shape of it. And uh, so that's a good way, again, to take care of your gear. <clears throat> All right, guys, stay safe, enjoy your surfing, teach your, teach your groms how to take care of their gear too, and we'll all have fun and safe in the surf. Laters.